looks like. And so eight years ago is when this letter came into being. Now, supposedly, that this letter was with all the other letters of the alphabet on the original tablets where it was inscribed. There we go. There is the symbol. Now, That's that, Hebrew text? That is Hebrew text. No, I'm not Hebrew. So no. this is very interesting that it was given to me. But at any rate, um, when this letter came into being is when the world could be made whole and that all the defects could disappear. Now, interestingly enough, look what's happening with the shift yeah. with 2012, with the ongoing shift into the thousand years of peace and the golden age. Yes. So this is happening as we speak, but it's not, you know, it's not instant. It's yeah. going to take a little time for all the defects to be corrected and so forth. But that's what that's all about. And how are they being corrected? Well, mankind is awakening, and this is part of why we're teaching this too, because as we're teaching this and each person awakens, their consciousness rises, they begin to know what's wrong in the world, and let's, and let's fix it. You know, that's when people say, let's fix this. This isn't right. Mm -hmm. like, like going green and stuff like that? Yes. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, getting rid of the pollution, cleaning up, going green, getting rid of anything that doesn't serve mankind for its highest good. So the goal is to awaken mankind. I think Great. people just being kinder to people, if you've noticed, mm -hmm. there, there's a Sometimes little bit yeah, more of that. Yes. And it makes a difference. If, oh, yeah, it feels good. If you show a, a small kindness, ho opening a, a door for kindness, someone. Even, even, well, letting even somebody go when you're driving, you let them make their left time. turn because there's a load of traffic behind you so you're saving somebody a little time and they wave to you. Yes. So you, you want to try something? It's, yeah. it's an experiment. You try it. You go into a, a drive through say, at uh, Dunkin' Donuts, and for no reason at all, just by the person behind you pay for their coffee. Yes. Okay? And just drive nice. off. Aww. That person will buy for the person behind. It's Maybe. just like it's just like a shockwave. Pass it forward. Pass it you forward. Know, if you, right? go, oh, no, if you, if you put out say. that positive uh, energy yeah. in the morning, that, even morning, afternoon, whenever, you can or just be kind to somebody, you can change it. Entire day I by simply showing a little kindness. The promise. first time you showed Absolutely. me uh, this book. Just been a little more. Immediately I from the symbol, yes. I got God's way. Yeah, yeah, that's why we call the show God's Way, truthfully, because when Tommy saw this book, as soon as he saw it and he saw the symbol, he knew that it meant God's way. And that's what it is. And, and it's and, true. In reading it this, <laughs> I, I tell you, in reading this, there's a lot of interesting stuff. It's a very good book. Very good book. Life changing. Which can you get it yes. on um, um, Amazon. 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 Mm -hmm. Amazon. Yeah. Amazon and Espiatu, they. The manual. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or you can also you just, just Google put Abelfina name. and it will come up under Amazon. Oh, yeah. I'll oh, just mm -hmm. go to Amazon and type, type in Abelfina. Yep. Or you can, Yatave is the only one out there under that title, so right. uh, it would come right up anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. If people want to get a jump start on uh, ahead of the coursework we'll be going through to repair you and, and build you towards your own personal relationship where you'll actually be able to hear God yourself and see God. Um, then uh, you can get a jump by getting the book mm -hmm. if you want. It, it'll help you a great deal uh, to uh, basically have a knowledge of what we're speaking about here. You know, it's only one show so far and only one lesson, but uh, as time goes on, you know, you'll be you'll get to be a practitioner. You know, you get to learn to do this and to help others, and you'll be amazed at how when people get better, you know, and and all you did was like direct energy at them and uh, you know, do your best to help them and to bring them into their spirituality. Uh, it's, it's so rewarding. It, it, you know, it, it's, I, can't, I can't begin to tell you how, how rewarding it is to it's me. It's a good feeling, it is. It, it's a, just a wonderful thing, you know, especially when it's like kids like uh, Nicholas, yes. okay, or uh, you know, uh, even an elderly that may have had a problem and uh, it's a serious thing and the family is yeah. worried about them and all of a sudden, out of the clear blue, they're better. You know, they don't need that hospitalization or they don't need that operation. Or the medication. Or the medication. Medication is quite right. You know, we're poisoning our bodies in this country. We have the highest uh, addiction rate to oxycodones. So, something like oh. 112 million people. Wow. Are on that's a 112 million people. Addicted to? Are, are, are on oxycodones. Are on, oh, well, and that's a terrible they're on medicine. They're addicted to yeah. it because it's terrible. Terrible. Like it in Percocets. Yes. It's garbage. Oh, yes. All that, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's garbage. It is. Um, yeah, demonstration? yeah uh, I guess we're just about ready to yeah, do the right demonstration, there. but I wanted to, to mention that uh, I know someone that was on that Oxycontin after an operation and do, taking it as he was told, uh, OD'd and had to be rushed to the hospital and given the antidote twice. Wow. Almost died from it. Wow. Yeah. 
So uh, we're just about ready, I guess, for that energy exercise. Um, so who wants to go first? You want to go first or you want to go first? Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. I, okay. It would be new, so All right. let's let her go first. Okay, so we're going to actually do a little energy do exercise where you'll yeah. see where I'm yeah. hoping our guest will be able to feel the actual spiritual body that is invisible to most people. So this is invaluable for everyone because now you too will learn how you can assess. You'll be able to, um, to do it yourself. I encourage you to practice this at home. You wanna warm up your hands a little okay. bit, wake them up a little bit. Now what's gonna happen oh, is Christine is gonna walk towards me and uh, when she feels She's going to set her intention to feel the, the spiritual body layers that we were talking about. Remember, we were talking about the seven layers, and it, that's going to a 12 layer. So, and if she hits one and, and doesn't stop, I'll ding her so she can feel it or whatever. So we'll just, we'll just play with it a little bit. You ready? Yep. Okay, so put your hands up like this, and just very slowly walk by because you don't want to walk by too quick. And then when you hit something, I want you to tell everybody what you're feeling. I'm feeling like a little bit of a resistance. Okay. Okay, a little bit of energy in front of me, just kind of there. Does it kind of feel like a plastic bubble to you? Because like that's how I feel it sometimes, like a plastic bubble. Like a shield. Like, you know what, like yeah, a like kind of a bubble? Shield. Yeah, like kind a shield. of a shield. Yeah. Now, walk again. Yeah, walk slowly forward again. Some of them are thicker and some are thinner, Yeah, this too. one here is very thick. Okay, so see, as you get closer, too, it will get stronger. Yeah. Okay, so how do, does it feel any different? This feels kind of tingly. Tingly? Okay. As she gets closer to you, does she compact the energy? Yeah, well, as you get closer, it's closer to the physical body, so it gets stronger. It gets stronger. Okay. You yeah, ready? I can feel it getting stronger. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I don't have to move very far, either. Yeah. What do you feel? No, if I you feel another one? It's even more tingly. Uh-huh and more um, stronger. And you know what's interesting? Different people feel it different ways. Sometimes you can feel it cold, hot, tingly, uh, fluffy. I've heard every name in the book, so it's interesting you're, you're, what you're getting. Go ahead. You Before ready? when we were practicing, it was like fluffy. Yeah, it was fluffy. But <laughs> I'm feeling a very, very strong energy, almost like it's pushing me or... Pushing or you back? It, yeah, pushing, you. Yeah, uh, yeah, like holding me back. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, it's it's getting thicker and stronger as I get closer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Get another one. Yeah. Okay, well, you can keep coming another couple feet. Feel yeah. It. More tingly. Uh huh. More uh, stronger. So more like a wall. More like a wall. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Okay, take come to the next layer. Let's see what we get. Lightened up a little bit. Lightened up. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I hope that that uh, kind of people will practice that at home so they can feel it for themselves. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, you know, you can feel like, like you're walking through something like that, you know, it's not just thin air. And you know what's interesting? You know how they say how we're all one? Yeah. Well, we're all in each other's spiritual body. How that's could right. we not be that's one? Right. Yeah. And we're also breathing the same air, aren't we? Uh -huh. <laughs> right? That's right. That's right? So it can be no other way. Yep. Well, thank you, my dear. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay. You wanna get up and we'll give Certainly. you a try to see what Certainly. you get? And I'm so glad they could feel, although truthfully, I don't think I've had a person who couldn't feel out of all the years I've uh, done this experiment. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready, my dear? I was just gonna go ding. <laughs> what are you feeling? Okay. Right around here, I have feeling in the palms of my hands. It, it almost feels like a swirl of energy swirl. that goes around in the palms of my hands. Okay. So whenever you're ready, just slowly come forward. Right about here, it feels like it's pushing back. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more resistance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And I'm not doing anything to make her feel this. It's just uh, now she's just feeling those layers of that spiritual Let's body. Let's try something a little different. What? Send her love energy. Okay. That'll draw you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I send Phyllis love. And now it feels almost as if I'm surrounded. 
<laughs> whereas before I didn't feel like it was around me, just in front of me. And it's, now I would say I, I feel it around me. And it's making me wobble. I mean, it's mm -hmm. so strong. <laughs> I feel like I'm waving. Yeah. I'm wobbling here. Well, see, we're both <laughs> surrounded. Uh -huh. yeah. oh. Oh, that fe that's really a good idea. That fe feels good. Go ahead. I just so I don't fall down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to push it. No, no, don't push me down. Here, it feels lighter. It feels a little bit lighter, um, but I still feel surrounded. I still feel completely surrounded. Um, it feels like there's a little bit more. Um, perhaps it's a little thicker in this area. Um, although it does feel lighter. So it's an odd way to try to describe it, but it, but it is very different. But um, uh, the good thing is, is you can feel the different layers, and that's the important thing. Yes. Because people don't know this exists, and that's the whole object is to show people that this truly does exist. I think what happens is people don't take the time to realize, you know how you'll walk into a room or you'll approach a person and you feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You've never met them before. You never have never had a conversation with them, but you just feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, again, is just possibly energy that doesn't uh, meld with yours. Right, and right away, when you're in somebody's aura like that, everybody's had that, where yes. suddenly they feel like, oh, I, I don't gotta know go. if I wanna be, yeah, I, I, and, and that's truly a warning in a way too sometimes. Yes, and I, If it gets really bad, you should pay attention and flee. <laughs> and often we don't, and then you have a bad experience. Right. So I find that more and more, you have to pay attention to how you're feeling um, and honor it. That's cool. right. You're so right, my dear. Well, thank you so much. You did a great thank job. You. And I forgot to tell you um, one other thing that's really cool. Um, has ever, anyone ever seen the, um, the butterfly in different religions, especially Christianity, as a, uh, you often see the butterfly represented uh, the transfiguration. And, um, and I, it's just funny that she wore a butterfly today. And uh, one of the girls in the uh, control room wore a butterfly today. A beautiful mm -hmm. jade one she did. Yeah. Yes, and, and uh, this was not planned. And I want to tell you what it means. This has to do with when you transform consciously, you go through metamorphosis. And that's exactly what we're going to be that's doing. representative of it. Yeah, and you know why? Because did you see that picture with the prana tube? The yes. energy goes around like this. That's what it's makes like it the butterfly. Breath. Yeah, it goes up like this. So that's why the butterfly. And so this is an actual metamorphosis from a cocoon mm -hmm. to a, the butterfly. And that's where we're going to go. When you get in pro close proximity with a person that has a, it just has a negative aura. Yes. Okay. You, you know it's going to repel you, number one. All right. But you can overcome their negative orders by sending them love. Yes. And dissolving their negative aura. Okay without them even knowing it. They don't even know why they're talking to you in the end. They could be the nastiest person on earth, <laughs> you know? And I've dealt with them, you know, and changed the whole situation by doing that. Yes, that's you a know? good idea. It, it's, it's always a good idea. When you get somebody who's, uh, you know, who's uh, maybe a coworker or uh, uh, you have to go someplace in a meeting or an organization, you got to deal with a person. It's very, very, you know, derogative. And, you know, you, you don't want to deal with them, but you have no choice because you got to be there. Uh, if you learn to love that person, you can love them through it. Yes. You can love them through it. And you actually change them. You do. You know, over some time. Um, but what do you think about that negative energy? Well, would that work? Would that work like in the opposite? If you were like uh, over there and sending Phyllis negativity? I, I suppose so, yes, because uh, I've had a few experiences where um, a bad guy uh, and I was told this by several different people who had good sight and so forth, where they told me that this fellow was going around through the expo throwing literal knives at people. I mean, they weren't knives in the physical, but in, in the spiritual. And I was like, wow, well, you know what? When I walk by that guy, I get bad vibes. Mm. So I yeah, guess I it makes why. sense. What are you expecting to accomplish mm. doing that? I don't know. Some of, sometimes they don't even know it. They don't even know it. Yeah. You know I mean, they, they could be so well accomplished in being... Uh, uh, psychically gift, gifted and stuff like that, but the ego makes them think there's so much more. They think they, they're doing it. They're not doing it. It's God directing it all. Mm. All right? He's the master puppeteer. You're just the puppet. That's right. I wonder if it's not misery loves company. That's Sometimes true too. if you're miserable, you just want everybody else to be that That's way true. as well. That's and true. perhaps they're not doing it on purpose, but definitely. Um, like their attitude. Yes. And, and I've yeah, come in contact with so many people like that. And as you what about would when say, you regress them and they're like that? 
Uh, Do you ever find them being like uh, really resistant? Like, uh, not only resistant, but being uh, uh, like an angry spirit in them as you're regressing them. Uh, Back very to a time often, when it might have been like a mental case or something. Very often, they're not ready to be regressed. So yeah. usually, once you get to the point of actually relief, releasing a little bit of control to go back and see what the problem was, they won't do it. They're not ready, or they don't feel that they have that problem. Maybe. So it often they. That's their own ego. Help, That's huh? their ego. That's their ego. I, mean, I don't think beyond help. I think sometimes it's just they're not ready to let that go. Mm -hmm. They want to be that way. They say that they mm -hmm. don't, but they're not ready to let it go. Mm -hmm. right. It has been my experience. You know, Dr. Dyer. Dr. Dyer says. Your yes. ego. He calls it edging God out. Yes. yes. And, and you know, one. it's a perfect thing to say. <laughs> it you know, is. The more you, the more you edge God out of your life, the more that these things will happen to and you. And the more miserable. And the more you'll become. draw. Oh, yeah. misery. Certainly. You know, I, I, I hate, I hate being around people. Every, oh, why did this happen? And blah 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 blah. And they just continue. And before you know it, you know, you don't want to take that baggage on you. You know, just bless them, send them love, and walk away. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've all been there where we've walked into a room and everybody's miserable, and then uh, somebody comes in all positive and it lifts everybody up, you know, and uh, or just the opposite. Everybody's happy and somebody walks in that's really dour and they pull everybody, everybody down, down, you yeah, know. Yeah, so yeah. People, everybody knows what we're talking about. You know, and then when you, when you get to the bottom line of what's really aggravating them, you turn around and say, how stupid can you? I mean, yeah, what are you getting upset about that for? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you have to release the little things. You, you, yeah. you, you remember that? She just said, remember I release told you about the little, the little things? things? Oh, yeah, yeah. We were talking about the little things. It's yeah. funny you should say that. I picked I, it up. <laughs> Don't sweat the small things. There's That's a it. book about it. Yes, yeah, That's and it. it's true. You know, the, you, if, if, you, if you can't settle your differences with the small things, how are you going to ever take on a, a right. monumental task? That's right. You know what I mean? You just... Uh, yeah. Just surround it in love and peace and you know say thank you and move on that's all well there was one more thing i wanted to do i see we're getting close to time and out yeah. so we wanted to do a uh, a prayer petition to god uh, which all my work involves prayer faith and uh, energy so we're i'm going to ask for that prayer to be put up now and um, and I want everyone in the studio and uh, also everyone at home to, you don't have to say it out loud, but just say it to yourselves. And what this will do is just as Jesus did in the Bible, 76 times it will cast out any energies that are not for your highest good and you will feel so much more peaceful and light and loving. So I'll read it, and then I'm going to have a moment of silence where I'm going to, we're all just going to look at you as healers in our own right, and we're going to send that energy through our eyes to you. So please just take a moment of silence after we read it, and maybe you'll even see what's going on. Okay. Is everybody ready? All right. We send energy to you, God, in the vibration of unconditional love. And we ask in the name of Jesus Christ that you send your great energy back to facilitate the work we are doing here today. We ask that you send the bubble of the Holy Spirit around my household for permanent protection while clearing out all energies that are not for our highest good from our households and the bodies of those living in my house. Everybody name your loved ones here and our pets and name them. We ask you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, to remove all energies that are not for our highest good from our bodies and our sphere of influence in all worlds, all dimensions, wherever, whatever. We ask that filters be placed in our cords, palm, and feet chakras to prevent any backwash. And we further ask that you send the vibration of viral, bacterial, fungal neutralization to neutralize any illnesses in our bodies during the clearing vibration for the length of time that is appropriate for each of us while giving each of us the antidote for whatever it is we need. Thy will be done. Okay, now bring the camera to us, please, and just, just <coughs> let's just send that energy out for the healing to take place for our audience and our guest and the crew. Okay. 
I don't know about you, but I sure felt I a felt warm hand. I feel fall. It, I, I feel it in my hands. I just felt a warm golden glow come over me. I feel very calm. Yep. Mm -hmm. How about you? What did you feel? Anything? I tend to feel it in the palms of I my hands, so it's here. very prickly. Yeah. Yeah, my fingertips are, are, are tingling. Yes. <sighs> See, the peace will just center right over you once all this goes away. That's right. Yep. Yeah. The prayers in this book. Yes, and also for everyone in our audience and crew and cast and members here who are in our studio, I posted this on my website so that you can go there and print it out. And it, it would be wonderful for you to say this each and every day. I say it myself every morning and every night before bedtime. You, the, your nightmares will cease when you remember to say this every night. Nice. <laughs> yes so that you can just print it out and please feel free to share it with anyone. Just do not alter it because each word has an important meaning. Oh, remember, it's not domin uh, denominational either. Yeah. So you don't have to uh, fear you're reading something that's uh, Catholic, Christian, Jewish, whatever. Right, it's, right. Yeah. it's right. non-denominational, really. Right. It also applies to animals as well. If you have sick pets at home, um, you can say this prayer for specifically for them. And we do put the, um, the uh, ask that we name our pets because you know what? Many times uh, we, our pets are there. They're actually our protectors and our healers. So we do not want to exclude them. Absolutely. They're members of the family. Yes. Oftentimes if there's sickness in the house, your pet will absorb it. Wow. So yeah. it's not uncommon for them to well, become ill. Well, I recently Ill. had to put my, uh, my Jack down. He had gotten real sick real fast. And it was a horrible time that I went through. We went through a whole show on Christine's show yeah. about it. Yeah. And uh, I, I tell you, I know he's with me in spirit. He's in energy. He's an energy dog. I bust him every day. He's still included in my prayers. Okay. And it wouldn't be if But he validates like you can't believe. He validates every time. I could be writing this. There's a little sign on the back of a tractor trailer that I love my Jack Russell. <laughs> okay? If his work here wasn't done, he'll come back to you. He's going to come it's back. It's not an uncommon thing for your pets to be I've reincarnated. Yeah. I, I, they I, won't come back necessarily as the same type of a pet or the same type of a dog, but they will come back if their yeah. job isn't done. Yeah. Mm. So you may see him again soon. Well, I know a, 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 a girl that's a friend of mine whose uh, bulldog uh, had passed away, and she found another one and she swears that this is was her original reincarnated yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, she happens. Swears that happens she says, that's my dog it, it does you, yeah, you know it what it was when, when i went to when i first started looking for the dog uh back in the day my son had gotten seriously hurt you know bad concussion and he was not coming out of it he was like couldn't speak right right and what happened was we went and got the i, I went over and the doctor suggested maybe you should get him something to focus attention so i said i'm, I'm going to get him a dog and I walked into the, into the pet shop, and it was dachshunds and all these. I love them dogs, but I saw Jack. Aww. It was this little piglet, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? And I knew he was the one. They pick you. I took that dog, and I, I took that little puppy, and I put it in his hands. Mm -hmm. It was like a miracle. He started talking. He, like, he came back to life. Aww. And it was because of that dog. And, it, and although he's only with us for 11 years, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, them dogs live 16 to 19 years, okay? It, 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 to me, it was not enough. And his job it's never yeah. enough. Of course, they, they, they don't have a very long life, and it's 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 I sad sometimes. Okay. Yeah. I, I do want to mention that on our next show, we will be teaching you how to work with your angels. So please tune into that. And also, we're very interested in if you have any questions or topics you would like to see answered. If we can answer them, we surely will. And so you can email me at adolfinashepherd at msn.com. And if you want to go to my website for the prayer, that's adolfinashepherd.com. And um, that's about all I have to say so far. i got one more thing to say. Do you have you anything have you want to say? You have nothing more to say? I can't can believe that. Can you believe that? that? Yeah, oh, yeah. my God, yeah, yes. You must have hit a speed bump. <laughs> yeah. So I do want to uh, thank everybody for coming and Christine and Phyllis and Tommy and I do our want to, audience. yeah, and our studio audience and the our crew. Our sponsor, we have Antonio's Pork Store. Yes, and our sponsors. And um, I do want to say, may, God, may the hope of God fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy before Spirit. We, before we end, one thing. Uh, uh, when you watch the show, if anything happens or, or things change in your life, 
we'd like to know that, please write oh. us or, or, or contact Alba Phoenix with the website yeah. and uh, let us know. And uh, perhaps you could be studio guest there. And uh, God bless you all. Yes, God bless you. <laughs> See you next time. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> so. Apparently, we have a couple of minutes. Oh, good. Oh, good. Well, I'm so glad we have Time a couple of minutes. Time flies when you're having fun. Please contact Phyllis. I'm sure she has her business cards with her. Yes. Mm -hmm. And do you have a, a way to contact you? Um, I have a, uh, an email address on the card too. Oh, okay. Well, you I was just going to send your mental yeah, telepathy say, and say see if you want to get it. Say your email address so that they can email you because I don't think it's on the credits. Right. Say it. Oh, he did put it on the credits. Oh, did he put it on the credits? Oh, good. Oh, okay. Then look at the credits. Oh, good. <laughs> yes. So I would right. put mine on the credits, but I'm a very private person. <laughs> 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 Just to get three minutes? Okay. 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 So we, we want to thank you, and we bless you, and we heal you with the love of God. And please come back and join us again. Uh, we will uh, let you know also. It will be announced on uh, my website and on Facebook uh, the dates of the showing that you'll see this show. So please come back for the next we're, uh, learning how to work with your angels. And we will be on YouTube once the show airs here on Staten Island. Yeah, they'll be yes. on YouTube. It's uh, Spiritual Exploration, where my shows have been also. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, That's so. great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay, so. well.